All right, Creek Squad fam, y'all voted for this video, so we go ahead and we gonna get into this. But first, intro. Yo, what is good, fam? We is uh, back with another one. That's right, my man Ryan Upchurch is gonna put up this new video, simply called Two Twelve Twenty Three. Did get this a once over. I know what it's about. And um, <clears throat> wasn't really planning on doing this one given with the subject matter involved. But I wanted to see where y'all stand. I want to see how y'all feel. If y'all believe I should do this or not. Hence why I put up the poll as I mentioned earlier in the opening bumper. And like I said, majority won out. Don't believe me? Go check out the community tab and see the poll for yourself. And uh, yeah. So here we are. We're going to go ahead. We're going to get into this. I'm going to give my honest take on everything that's going on <clears throat> between Ryan and Patty. So without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right into this by liking the hit hit. Well, I don't know about liking, but we're going to hit hit. Go. <clears throat> I got to say, um, in all honesty, I'm feeling that cowboy hat my man is sporting. Well, I tried to go have vacation. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready to speak about it. Everybody's been wondering what's been going on. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Now, as you guys know, if you've been following uh, the community tab on the channel, um, I did unsubscribe from uh, Patty's channel. And I mean, just, I'm sorry, I, just can't, I couldn't stay sub to uh, her channel, given what everything's going on. And, uh, yeah, anyway. <clears throat> uh, my gloves are off now. My gloves are off now. And this, I don't care. If I have to drag it out for the next five years in court, I will. Are you serious? <sighs> I mean, you, you can do that. You can go that route if you want, but I highly doubt you'll get anywhere. I mean, th this is your son. I mean, and you, <clears throat> I'm sure you're very much aware of all the court cases he done had you know, that he had to go through, that he had, you know, these battles with, and you know what I mean, and, um, and look who came out on top of those, I'm just saying, I mean, won't be any different, but I mean, you're more than welcome to try, I'm just saying. I need a fucking bunk bed in the courtroom. <laughs> to prove that all the slanderous things my son has been saying about me are exactly that, it's um, well, it's not exactly slander when you got receipts to back up your claims. I mean, he's got paperwork that shows that his name is on some things that he did not buy. So, I don't know what slander is about that, but okay. Effing slander. Kid gloves are obvious. She, she, she can't say fucking. She'll still say effing. Okay. Now, I am standing up. For my other three sons who have written music for him. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, damn. The oh, yeah. I mean, why go down on your own when you could drag your the rest of the family down with you? Throw them under the bus as well. Well, yeah, that's, that's working wonders for you. The thing I'm most proud of <clears throat> writing all my own songs. You know they didn't write no songs. Why would you lie about that? Because I know they're not going to stand behind that. And if they do stand behind you and lie about that, well, then they're stupid as well. I don't think they are. But if they are, well, I'll disown them as well. Who he bruh, bruh, that's what that's what's sad and heartbreaking about this whole thing, man. I mean, this is his mother, right? <clears throat> Who is going out of her way to try to make her son look like a bad person and she knows better than this how can she justify her actions not okay that, that just boggles my mind he has gifted things and he's trying to take them back <clears throat> when have you ever heard about me giving something to somebody and being like oh no give me that back i'm an indian giver because that's what he does mm. i'd love to see that somewhere that's what he does. He gives you something as soon as he, you don't do something. He you, you you know your song long enough to know that whenever he 
<clears throat> you know, makes claims on anything, he always has the receipts to support his claims. You are on here trying to do the same thing, but yet you lack the receipts to back up your claims. Just saying. He likes, or you don't go along with him, he takes everything back, or at least he tries to. Well, that changed <clears throat> drastically really fast. Do I take people's stuff, or do I just try to? Those are like the opposite. I am the 100% owner. I mean, he, he is not wrong. That is two different things. You either, when you take something back, you literally legit take something back. When you try to, I mean, yeah, you put an effort in and say, yeah, you know, I, I want this back or whatever. But then that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to you're going to get it back. So, yeah, two different things, lady. He tries to. Well, that changed drastically really <clears throat> fast. Do I take people's stuff or do I just try to? Those are like the opposite. I am the 100% owner of Blue Moon Entertainment. I have proof of it. Yes, yes. You are a part of Blue Moon because it's a company that we created within our family. Yeah. It was the booking company to uh, book Ryan Up Church for shows. What other money was made through Blue <clears throat> Moon besides with me? Exactly. You want to claim 100% ownership of a booking company for your son to get gigs. And so you want to, you want all the money that your son had to go work for? Man, it, it's true. It's true, man. When you got people like that, living amongst us it really rings true that money is the root of all evil greed is a real thing yes <clears throat> the, the money goes into the booking company and everyone gets paid you just don't get to take facts everyone involved with the company if they you know they get paid for the role that they play in getting this man booked and um, promoting, marketing, his shows, everything. Everyone gets paid, not just you, ma'am. What you want out of it, <clears throat> it's a company. I have got an attorney. <clears throat> yeah, of course you have an attorney. And I got she threw out, I have an attorney, like he doesn't. <laughs> like, okay, good for you. So does he. Bruh. Everyone has an attorney that comes up against me. Mm hmm That's true. Everyone who sued him had an attorney. But guess what? He has an attorney, too, to help counteract your attorney. So, best of luck. Not really. I'm worth, like, $20 million. <clears throat> uh, attorneys will crawl out of the fucking sewers. No pun intended on the sewer thing, <laughs> since I've been sued a lot. <sighs> but look at my court cases. They speak for themselves. He lies. He stands in front of houses that we don't know who the hell they belong to. <clears throat> Paperwork to houses say who they go to. The police gets called and... Facts. And he's not going to hold the paperwork up to, you know, a screen, you know what I mean? And dox himself or and dox anyone else, you know, because he, he's not dumb. He's not stupid. I mean, come on now. He swears <clears throat> he owns the house. No, no. We were just checking because there was a house that had a prior document that had my name on it. And then it was in someone else's name. So we were checking what that was about. We found out. The people inside the home, when we knocked on the door, they're the ones that told us to come back 20 minutes later. We did. What else do you want to know? that I bought the house and gifted it to somebody. It was all a lie. It wasn't a lie or a truth. We were just looking at documents and politely knocking on doors, saying, hey, do you know why my name is on this? Oh, it's because this reason. Oh, okay. Have a nice day. That doesn't sound fierce at all. <clears throat> do you know why? Because it ain't. And anything that this man's name is on, I mean, he has every right to know about it, being that his name is on the document. And uh, his money was being used 
on these pieces of property. So how dare you, ma'am, take his money, use it for your own personal needs, and then put his name on some documents that he wasn't aware of, and that, again, he has every right to know about. Anything that, that, that involves him, he should be well aware of what's going on. But no, you want to be sneaky and lie about it, so that's why you are where you are. You got no one but yourself to blame for that. I mean, it's your fault. You were living the life. All you had to do was enjoy said life. You had it made. All you got, all you had to do was just, just chill, live your best life. But no, no. You blew it. The police had to show up and tell him that he can't address it that way and that he can't come back. Well, yeah, the police did tell me not to come. You see the way that she's talking, how excited she's getting. I mean. I don't want to say she's on something, but I mean, yeah, I'm back because <clears throat> I had no reason to be there. After I found out what I needed to, there's no reason for me to be there. So he said, yeah, don't come back. Don't why you acting like I was being like super rowdy. Again, the man has every right to know what's going on with things that involve his name and his name is on and. All, all he, all like, like he said, all he was trying to do is figure out, okay, what's going on? Why is my name on these documents? And that's it. Once he, once he got his answer, that was it. He's done. There was no need for cops or law enforcement to be involved or whatever. The man just wants to know what's going on. What's so hard about that? There's body cam footage, dude. <clears throat> I'm sure if somebody could be like, hey, can I see the body cam footage? Or some shit. I don't know. Get a warrant to see the body. There's ways to look at the footage, woman. I'm literally sitting in my truck playing a fucking skateboard game. Me, Ryan, and Brandon were all business partners. Business partners. Really? And what part of the business did you do? Not anything that I told you to do. Like taxes finances, land taxes, green belt taxes. Man, she didn't do any of the taxes after he had told her, you know, to do those. What? What the fuck? If that's the case, and I'm not saying one way or the other, but if that's the case, man, this woman is not good with money. I mean, it should be a given she's not good with money, given with all the things that she's been spending his money on. I'm just saying. So what did you do? I would love to know. But now they're mad at me and they're cutting me out. And I mean, I don't know about him, but I am. I mean, when I'm told my taxes are being done for years and years and years and they're never done. Appointments were made for you to go and you didn't show up to any appointments. At least and that's bad, man. That is bad. You don't do your taxes, you can get into some real deep shit. So you put your son in a predicament where he could have been in some real deep trouble for not doing his taxes. Damn. At least that's what the tax place is telling me. I mean, and the taxes ain't done, so, you know, <clears throat> looks like a zebra, walks like a zebra, is probably a motherfucking zebra, right? Yep. But thank God for Brandon, because now all my shit's good. And it's all getting done like it's supposed to. Trying to. I'm glad my man's got someone, you know, like like Brandon, to uh, help him take care of that little piece of business. You know what I'm saying? But hey, somebody's got to do it. And it's all getting done like it's supposed to. Trying to say that everything that I've done is fraudulent. I wouldn't say everything, but a few things. Yep. I mean, you put your son's name on some documents that he wasn't aware of. That's pretty fraudulent. I'm pretty sure that is some law-breaking stuff, ma'am. So you want to put yourself out there. Continue. You want to continue to put yourself out there. You know what I mean? Try to act like you're the victim when really you, you've committed some very serious crimes. I mean, again, 
by all means, you know, have at it, have fun. But um, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna come come out the the winner of this situation, given what you committed. Blue Moon solely belongs to me. Brandon wrote checks out of it because I allowed him to be administrator on it, so they can't act like they didn't know it didn't exist. Well, yeah, every artist is aware of what booking company books their shows. Doesn't mean you have to be aware of all the money that's unrightfully coming out of it. It was put in place to protect him from himself. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, hold on. So you're saying the booking company was put in place to save me from myself. No, no, the booking company is there just to book my shows. What? See, again, how how can this woman, I mean, the nerve of her to try to justify and try to explain why she did what she did. And it's it, not even taking responsibility for what she did. Like, no, th it was this company's fault. This company was to help protect him and everything. No, a booking company, as he said, is designed to do one thing help book him for shows that's it that's all it's responsible for why do um why do cars get manufactured a car's job is to help get people from point a to point b wherever they need to go or they, they need to go to work you know what i mean or they need to go do to the grocery store do some grocery shopping which by the way we'll get into um uh a situation in relate in relation to a grocery store as she mentions later on but anyway Everything was built and designed to do a specific job. E everyone knows this. I mean, it's not freaking rocket science to figure that out. What, what does a security company do? Provide security for various sites that require security that are willing to pay a security company and its employees for their service. Oh Lord. And now I gotta protect myself and my sons. Now you gotta protect yourself from what? A minute ago you were protecting me from me, from the booking company that only, you know, books me. And now you're trying to save you from me. And from what I'm seeing, the man hasn't done anything to you. He may have spoken about you, and that's pretty much it. But as far as doing anything to you, I mean, there's no proof. I saw the video footage of you trying to show evidence of your the, the uh, windshield on your car being smashed at Ghost, at Ghost Ranch. But, I mean, come on. We all know what really happened. I mean, it's obvious that Either you or you put someone up to smashing your windshield and then try to claim that he did it. But here's the thing. He wants you out of Ghost Ranch. Why would he smash your windshield if he wants you out of Ghost Ranch? That would prolong your stay at Ghost Ranch. And why would he want to prolong your, your, your stay? I'm pretty sure the sooner you're out of there, the happy the happier he will be. I mean, you, you, you know better than this. This is what's frustrating about this whole thing. You know better than this. I, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing nothing to you. What are you talking about? If your problem is with me and I'm ignoring you, uh, how, what? Just yeah, that's the thing. He's ignoring her. He's keeping his distance from her. So... All these claims she's making, again, fraudulent. You did some fraudulent things with his money in his name, and now you're making fraudulent claims. And you think you're going to come out on the winning end of a court case? Your, 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 your math ain't mathing right, my gal. I'm just saying. This don't make sense, man. No, this don't. is to protect him because he can't stop bullying people online long enough to fucking have a clear thought. Oh, here we go. He's a bully. He bullies people online. <laughs> you serious? Is that what it is? Sure, why not? I can't go anywhere. 
I am done crying. Now I'm effing. If you can't go anywhere, then again, that is not a him problem. That is a you problem. Like I said, you was living the life. You was leading a charmed life and didn't really have to do much. But support your son. At times when he needs his mama. And you couldn't do that. You blew it. So, again, whatever problems that you are having, that is a you problem. Sure, why not? I can't go anywhere. I am done crying. Now I'm effing mad. And I'm effing mad. Even though the kid gloves are off, I'm still going to say effing. <laughs> No, I'm not asking for money. It's the world's smallest violin. What are you mad for? I know, I, I, that's what I want to know. Why is she mad? If anyone has any rights to be mad, it's him. Because some fraudulent things were happening with his money and his name. And she got caught. And she's mad? You know what that reminds me of? If I look tired of y'all, it's because I had a long day at work. The reason I had a long day at work is because my supervisor, who was a woman, um, <clears throat> she has been really flaky when it comes to relieving me, showing up to work on time so I can leave from work on time. And last night, she decided to be spiteful by sending me a text saying, are you working tonight? I don't know if you're working, but I called off. I had to call my supervisor, my field supervisor, who was her boss, and um, tell him, hey, um, so-and-so left me a text saying basically that she called off or whatever. She sent it to me on the last hour of, of my shift, which is a no-no because we have a policy where if you're gonna call off, you have to call off four hours in advance. Field supervisor tells me she didn't talk to me. She didn't. She didn't officially call off because she had to talk to me. Like, uh, really? Okay. Dude had dude had had to scramble find me a, a relief. I didn't leave work until 10 a.m. I'm usually out at 6 a.m. I got four hours of overtime, which hey, I'm not complaining. I don't mind a little overtime, but just the way I got it though, it's messed up. But. What does this have to do with anything? She's upset that I'm upset that she can't make it to work on time. And this woman has the weekend off, Saturday and Sunday. I have Mondays and Tuesdays off. I'm trying to get to my weekend. And you're going to hold me up from my weekend because I'm upset that you can't come to work on time to relieve me. Whatever. Or I've been in Gatlinburg, playing Pac-Man machines. What now? I am very sorry for everybody who Ryan Upchurch has bullied online. Yeah. Talk to me like you never met me before. That's... That looks real normal. <laughs> I... <laughs> right. I am so sorry, Katie, even though what you did was shady and not nice. You weren't there for the right reasons. But I still don't think you deserve to get what you got online. And She's actually po apologizing to the leader of the Weasel Gang. What? The woman tried to claim sexual assault against your son. And you want to apologize to her? Oh, hell no. Hell no, you was all kinds of wrong for that one. You blew it. And are still getting today. <laughs> You're unbelievable. I cannot believe what the fuck I'm hearing out of your fucking mouth. Same here. This is the man's mother. Not okay. You're saying sorry to Katie Noel for a few comments of people saying, hey, you fucking suck. Because why? Because Katie tried to say I sexually assaulted her fool. Facts. You can't falsely accuse people of shit like that. 
That is true. She almost ruined his life. She damn near destroyed his career. But luckily, luckily, that did not happen. Thank God for that. But no, you're sorry that people was telling her she sucks, but her music sucks. <laughs> wow. Nicole Arbor, I don't know what happened with you guys in the studio. He makes a lot of promises, but as soon as he's pissed, he takes those promises back. Excuse me, what? You do know that that woman told the fucking TBI that I like buried people in my front yard. Uh-huh. Accused the man of murder and stashing bodies. That's another serious, serious claim. And killed people, right? You're, you're backing up the person who told the TBI in a whole courtroom that me and my friends murdered people and buried them in the front yard at Ghost Ranch? Not okay! What in the fuck is wrong with you? You blew it. Fish. I apologize for what my son has done to you. Although, like I said earlier, I think I have an idea what it is, you know. Either she's... Or she's... Oh, yeah, horrible me, right? <clears throat> Fuck you, Ryan. How dare you rush this woman to the hospital and get her checked out because she thinks she was roofied. Man, you're such a horrible son you are. That's why, that's why I get freaking irritated. Well, fucking irritated, man. It's because... Dude goes out of his way. He goes above and beyond to help people out because he gives a shit about people. And the same people he helps out, he cares about turn around and do him dirty. Zayna May, I am sorry for what he's done to you. God damn. Because I know what it's like to be bullied now. I can't even go to the grocery store. I call bull bullshit. I call bullshit too. And even, like I said, even if that were true, this is the whole grocery store thing I was talking about earlier. If that were true, and you can't and you can't go to the grocery store because all oh, people were picking on you and bullying you. If that were true, again, that is your own damn fault for being a horrible mother who lied to her son, spent his money, and put his name on some documents. So, oh yeah, poor you, poor little you. And uh, Kylie Rodney's family. I am very sorry. Man, you're doing a good job at telling all these. Uh trending internet situations sorry makes sense if you want to you know destroy me yeah let's let me go through and pick out every every conflict he got in that i know he didn't start i'm gonna name all those people and be like i'm sorry to all y'all yeah you're gonna start a whole what le le legion of of hmm how, how can how can i phrase this a whole legion of douchebags. You're going to team up with them to try to take down your son. And not have any remorse or, or anything at all. Not have any guilt. Or self accountability at all. Mother of the year material right there ladies and gentlemen I guess. I also hate my son now too. Your greatest strategies. You're wonderful. I don't know what the hell is wrong with him. Yeah, something's terribly wrong with me. It's, it's a tragedy. Oh yeah, he's got all kinds of problems. But no, and look at you though. But you, 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 you are a model citizen, right? You're so pure at heart. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you, right? And Ryan is the one with the ego. Also, sorry, Chase Matthews. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. Let, let's let's apologize to the guy who who is best friends with a predator. Yeah. Let's let's go ahead and apologize to that guy. That, that that's gonna make us look good. Can't leave out him. Yeah. No. Don't no, get back here, you little holler boy. It's a very weird thing to watch. 
Mm-hmm. But hey, I'm here for it. Because I'm in the same boat you are now. Everybody is harassing me out in public. I can't go anywhere. All because he's so mad that you made a decision that he didn't want you to make. Well, that sounds kind of gay. Uh, <laughs> plus, that's not true. I think everyone who's watching this read the articles. Oh, yeah. We, we all know what, what he put in that article. We all know whose re- responsibility it was as to why this dude decided to go sign with a label. And it, it ain't Ryan's. Pretty sure it's not Ryan's. And seen all the videos. And I've showed everybody why I was <clears> mad. <throat> it was because I said, hey, uh, Chase going mainstream was Ryan up church's idea. So, you know, me being against mainstream, I was like, hey, asshole, uh, that's not my idea. Fuck you for saying it. Mm-hmm. And that's all. <laughs> and I said it to him, and I'll say it, and I said it to his guards, and I've said it to other people. If anything happens to me, it is either one of his followers behind it or one of his people that's closest to him. Are you implying that I'm going to kill you? What the fuck? Why would you say that? I'm sick of being bullied. I'm sick of people wiping their fucking feet on me. She, she, she wants to call him out for slander, but yet here she is slandering his name and slandering, you know, everybody who supports him and everything. Oh, yeah, you, you got you, you definitely got, got a case for yourself. Where are all these people doing all these imaginary things you're talking about? <clears throat> when I've done nothing but try to protect him from himself. You have got to stop saying that, dude. You Somebody needs to protect you from yourself. It sounds creepy. Because, I mean, you're not. And plus, I'm 30. I can take care of myself, dude. Facts. Grown-ass man in his 30s, he can take care of himself. I mean, who was the one that got Ghost Ranch and housed his family? Uh, who is is the one that got this nice house that 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 was just built so he could stay in it? It's not looking good for you, Patty. It's not, dude. You gotta stop saying weird shit. Stop. You ain't got to protect me. You're not protecting me. I mean, I know it sounds good, but it, that's just not true. Taking money that I've earned to buy other people's houses and then signing the houses over into other people's names is not trying to protect me. Nope, and that is fraudulent activity, ladies and gentlemen. In no way, shape, or form does anybody watching this think, oh, yep, she, that's definitely protecting. Mm. No. You can't help somebody with that that thinks like that. Thinks like what? Like what? What he is doing to people is dangerous. Will somebody please tell me what it is I'm doing? Please. Because I sure as fuck don't know. Besides working. Because the falling that he has, somebody's going to want a white knight for somebody. Want a what? You know what I'm saying? They're going to want to run in and be the hero and like... Off, you know, up church's mom or off, you know, uh, oh my God. What? Quick, quick, make up something, make up something, come up something quick. Uh, uh, I'm a, I'm a, uh, let's see. What, what, what else can I say to, uh, 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 destroy his name? Uh, uh, make, make, make him look bad. Make Creek Squad look bad. Fuck, fuck. I'm drawing blanks. Damn it. Arr! What's her name? Nicole Arbor. Or, like, kick Chase Matthews' ass out in public just because their leader said so. Nobody gives a shit about what any of those people are doing. Facts. Facts. I mean, Chase is... His popularity is going down, and he's slowly but surely becoming a nobody. So, therefore, nobody's going to do anything to that boy because nobody cares. He messed up. He made a dumb decision that cost him everything. And that's his own fault. He's punishing himself. I haven't even mentioned him. This is what we're dealing with. Dealing with. This is dangerous behavior, and I'm done sitting down. What? Uh, where's... Done sitting down, but yet you're still sitting down. 
all this danger at, please? Uh, just point me in the direction of all this danger. I am done. I am done. So there's my statement, y'all. I'm ready, and I will be in court for the next 10 years. I do not care. First you say five years, now it's 10 years. Make up your mind, lady. All over some paper you can't take with you in the afterlife. That does some shit. Exactly. Exactly. Appreciate it, Mom. Because nobody's running over me anymore. I am sick of it. <clears throat> I have been deprived of sleep because of this narcissistic behavior. I can't, could, I get good sleep now. You ain't getting no sleep because you can't get off the cell phone. Put the damn cell phone down, you get some sleep. Facts. Good God. I can finally sleep for the first time since all this shit has happened. And actually, it goes back even before because this is not new behavior. It's just new. Yeah, because you're going out of your way to destroy your image. And instead of, and you don't want to see people, you know, hitting you up with a good dose of reality, which you really so desperately need. And so you're like, yeah, well, screw it. I don't want to be on that phone right now. I don't want to see all that stuff. Nobody's on my side. So why do I want to look at that stuff? Well, at least I can go to sleep now since, I, since I'm not looking at my phone. New behavior with more money and uh, cult following. You have humiliated me online. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm dead online. You may as well have posted a fucking sex tape of me because I don't care anymore. Wrong platform, ma'am. More importantly, do you not just realize what you just said to your son? I don't even, I don't even know what to say to that. I mean, what, I mean, other than what I just said, I mean, what can you say to that? That was just, why? Why would you say stuff like that to your son? Clearly, this is someone with an unstable mind. Wow. That is not something you say to your son. Facts. You can post whatever you want. Because everything that you've already done, it can't be taken back. And that Just like everything that you've done cannot be taken back by your logic. It goes for every family who has <clears throat> had to endure this bullshit from my son. All right, y'all. So that was uh, 21223 by Ryan Upchurch. Um, I'll go ahead and get that a like. Close that out. Go back to full screen mode. And, uh, yeah, um, I, I can't believe this woman. I can't, I, 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 I'm looking at her. It looks like Patty. It sounds like Patty. But, I mean, but this is a whole different person that I was listening to. I mean, this is just sad and heartbreaking, you know. Cause again, I can't help but see like, yo, you're 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 his mom, you're his mother, you're the the one person that that should be there for him. And now you've proven that he can't even trust you. it's a shitty situation um nothing but love nothing but respect for church um you know prayers positive vibes you know what i mean um let's make sure that we're, we're praying for ryan you know what i mean and i'm um, sending him nothing but good vibes positive vibes because i'm sure he can use you know every bit of that um 
during this this time. Yeah. That's pretty much all I got to say, guys. Um, yeah, I pretty much said everything I needed to. And uh, yeah, appreciate everyone's uh, input on the poll, everyone who voted. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for your, your uh, support on the channel. It really means the world. Um, don't forget to, of course, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new. We really appreciate it. Um, I just checked. We are up to, what was it, 5,857 um, subs. We are almost up to 5,860 subs. Just three sh subs uh, shy. So, yeah, thank you guys for that. Um, 6K subscribers, man. Let's get it. Uh, don't forget to check out, of course, all the links in the video description down below. That would be greatly appreciated if you guys want to watch and listen to this video on your own free time uninterrupted as you would like. Link will be in, in the description as well. And, uh, yeah. All right, Cree Squad. It is your boy, Jason JV. And y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace. Bruh. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Patrick. I'm happy to do that. Please say what's up to me. Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad.